Hi, I'm Andy Webb from BeCleverWithYourCash.com. Now, if you've been looking at social media over today, this morning particularly, but over the last few days, there's been a lot of anger about the changes that Tesco have announced to their club card loyalty scheme. So whereas previously, uh, when you got these points when you went shopping, you could either spend them in the shop at the face value, so if you had a £10 voucher, it would be worth £10 in the shop, or you could go online and you could exchange it for vouchers at all sorts of different uh, retailers and attractions. Sometimes it was worth double the points, sometimes triple, and sometimes quadruple. So what Tesco have said they're doing now is they're making it just triple. I mean, it's more complicated than that actually, because there seems to be a few things which are fixed price, such as cinema tickets or subscriptions, which are still saying at roughly what they were before. But some things are now not worth as much, or you can't exchange them for as you know as, as high a value as you could before, whereas other things are actually worth more. And I'm going to go through why I think the changes probably aren't actually a bad thing, despite all the anger. And I understand the anger because the communication around this has been absolutely ridiculous. Tesco didn't tell anyone in advance. It just happened. So lots of people who've been saving up their points to exchange it, well, they can't get that value that they hope they would now. They've essentially lost 25% on some of those offers. Really, really bad, and they should have given people at least a little bit of notice to change their points, say so these changes are happening. But I think some of those deals, not all of them, I understand some people will be missing out as a result of these changes, but on the whole, I think people can benefit from this change um, and get more for their money. I'll take you through a couple of examples. So let's say you uh, we're gonna spend 10 pounds. That's what we're gonna get exchange a voucher for. One of the most popular ones was Pizza Express. Now, if you, in the old system, to get a £10 voucher, you'd have to spend £2.50 in club card points because it was quadruple, four times the value, which is a really good deal. So to spend £10 in Pizza Express uh, in the actual shop, it would only cost you £2.50. That's one of the ones that has dropped down now to triple, so it will be £3.33 to get 10 pounds. Okay, I know technically you can't do it in those kind of values. It actually would have to be in a three pound or three pound 50, but let's stick to that spending 10 pound example. Okay, so you are losing money. You're spending, it's gonna cost you more to get that 10 pound voucher. But when you are in Pizza Express using one of these club card vouchers, you can't use any other promotion. There are no other deals that you can use um, alongside it. And let's face it, who goes to Pizza Express and pays full price? There might be some exceptions that you want to go and it's a Friday or Saturday night and that's when you're going to Pizza Express and maybe there are no deals. But pretty much I think every time I've been to Pizza Express, I've been able to save some money. Quick Google just now, there are plenty of two for one deals going on or 50% off deals. So really, I don't think you're paying £2.50 for a £10 voucher. I think you'd be paying £2.50 for a five pound voucher. So really, the boost was never a real four times value. It was probably double, maybe a little bit more because you take into account uh, some of the deals might be 40% off or there might be uh, other things that play into it. But even so, you were never really getting that four times value. But there are other retailers where now, thanks to this kind of increase from double to triple, that you can save a lot more money and these are the ones where I think it's it's much better value I mean I would have done this beforehand anyway I always used to shop uh, use my points to double up for retailers uh, and businesses where I'm less likely to get a discount elsewhere so I never would have shopped even a quadruple for Pizza Express so let's look at Red Spotted Hanky if you don't know Red Spotted Hanky this is a train booking system it's pretty good you can book trains anywhere across the country and they are listed on the Tesco Club Card Boost website. Now, it used to be uh, that it was only double. So you would have had to spend, to get a £10 voucher, you had to spend £5. But, um, oh sorry, up here, that goes here, doesn't it? Had to spend £5 to get that. Now, Red Spotted Hanky does have a booking fee of £1. So it would have cost you £6 to get a £10 voucher. Now, that it's triple, that they've increased it from doubled to tripled, it's gonna cost you three pounds and 33 uh, plus one pound booking fee. So we're looking at, that's such a mess there, isn't it? Sorry about that. Looking at, it's gonna cost you uh, four pound 33 to get uh, a 10 pound 
essentially £10 spend on your train tickets. But if I was to look elsewhere, I'm not going to get a saving, unless it's a flash sale going on somewhere with a particular uh, rail route, it's very, very difficult to get additional discounts, additional coupons off your train travel. Yes, you can use your rail cards and get discounts, but you can use your rail cards with this Red Spotted Hanky credit. So really, you're saving uh, a lot, lot more than you ever would with the Pizza Express. It's a, I mean, you're saving, yeah, what's it, five pound 66. That is your saving. So that's better than if you've got a, a Pizza Express voucher and you're more likely to you know, get those deals there, like I said. And the last one, which I would use, and there, there are lots of other things on there. It's worth looking at the Club Card website and just seeing what some of those uh, different promotions are, see if they're things that you're interested in. But one which I think is really good, which is very, very difficult to uh, actually get discounts on, is Uber. Uh, whatever you think about Uber and what's going on with them, uh, lots of people still do use them. You can get a discount for your first trip, but after that, it's much, much more difficult to get any money off those rides. But you can buy credit again through Tesco Club Card. So it was uh, previously double. So to get £10, it would have cost you five quid. No booking fees on top of that, just got double value. But now to spend £10 on Uber, it is £3.33. So you are saving £6.33. And 66. That is obviously uh, a much, much better deal than this kind of really five, maybe six quid or whatever at Pizza Express. But I think people are more likely, and you know, everyone's got their own situation. I mean, you're all doing your own thing, you spend your money, how you live your life, and how you do things. But I think a lot of people who've got club, club card points went to Pizza Express because they could quadruple the value. And if you didn't have that, they probably wouldn't shop and wouldn't go and eat at Pizza Express or some of those other restaurants. But they're still going to get the train most of the time. You're still going to get an Uber if you're one of the cities with an Uber. You're still going to use this. So this is actually saving you money you're actually going to spend and saving you probably more money than going to somewhere like Pizza Express. Again, it's all different. It does depend exactly on how you places you want to use your vouchers, some of the days out. I know that they uh, have been reduced from, from quadruple to triple, um, so potentially people might be missing out there. But there are other ways you can save and get similar discounts. So I think, yes, Tesco, they've done a bad thing by not announcing this. But I actually think if you think about it and you look at the deals that are on there and you look at deals that are available elsewhere for these products, it's not going to make that much difference. And if anything, you're going to get better savings thanks to the increased boost on things like Red Spotted Hanky and Uber. I'm Andy Webb, I hope that was useful. I'll share a link um, below this video to uh, a guide I've written to my five, I think six, best uses of Tesco Club Car Points. You can learn a little bit more.